Yes, yeah. Okay, one, two. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Oatmeal Lesbians. Hello, hello. And as you can see, we're still back here with Kang Neng. <laughs> so, today's one is going to be special, right? Because, um, okay, it's going to be a Your Stories episode. And the reason why we chose to have Kang Neng here is because uh, all of you lesbians know how dramatic the fucking lesbian stories are. But we want to see, like, you know, um, how it is like to be a straight person um, hearing all of these fucked up stories that you all send in all the time. Okay. Yep. Shall we start? Today, now, now we're doing coming out stories, so we're reading their coming out stories. This one is a bit short, yeah? Okay. It's very short, so you start first. At the bottom. Anything not When I was f- around 15, I sat with my parents and told them I was bi. They were mostly understanding, but my mom asked if I was just comparing myself to these men and not attracted to them. The funny part is today, I'm a trans woman. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Love your podcast, by the way. Keep it up. What the fuck? Sorry, that was kind of funny. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, that that was a short. Oh fuck, this is a long fucking one. Uh, wait, 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 wait! It's so long that it got cut off. Like, okay, okay. Oh, the trans woman one is not done. No, 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 no. Oh. It's the trans woman one. It's a tra- no, no, no. It's the trans woman. Oh this, my god. This one right have part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Eh, wait ah, you ah, read this. Okay. <sighs> fuck. You know what? I don't need a ruler for this. Okay. Contents, this is how it started, yeah? Contents dot dot dash part one dash awakening dash part two dash intro to first girl crush dash part three dash back to school in bracket post MCO dash part four dash the accidental confession dash part five dash aftermath, okay? You probably should start writing on yeah, one Yeah, you, you sound like you are a good writer. Okay, part one, awakening. I've acknowledged the existence of pride from a very young age. Didn't think much about it, but I think my awakening might have been from kindergarten. I love long hair and dressing in classy dresses, but my personality was more on the boyish side. On the first day of kindergarten, I wore such an elegant dress like those posh posh British girls. They made two tables, one with dolls for girls, one with construction sites and cars for boys. Well, I went to play at the boys' table, felt my mum's disappointment right there and then. (laughs) Sign two was I somehow knew I was attracted to females more I used to be attracted to our admin tia tia in kindergarten What the fuck? Bro me core. <laughs> Bro comma I would pretend I got stomach <laughs> But hey, kids love pretty things Can't blame me Anyway, I used to pretend I had a tummy ache So that I get sent to the reception to get aided with minyak angin Honestly, just made the excuse to go see her and get taken care of by her. Mommy issues. Mommy issues. But though, but though back then, I'd still crush on boys. Haha, <laughs> being sims for them sometimes, but seeing older females just hit so much differently. What the fuck? Somebody already got a type. Okay. Part two, yeah? Intro to first female crush. Moving Isn't it the teacher, the admin? We oh. will read. Oh, this secondary school. Part 2, intro to first female crush. Moving on to secondary school, dot, dot, dot. I went to private school where everyone was more open-minded. Topics of pride get mentioned casually in a conversation among classmates. The more I learn from them, the more I realise, hey, maybe I am bi after all. I didn't for real come out to everyone as I was pretty unsure still. But overall, I'm pretty high-key about it, lol. What confirmed my bisexuality, or at least what made me realize I really like girls? It was a girl I liked for four to five years. That's a fucking long time, yeah? We were each other's first few friends from this school. Inevitably, we would hang out together a lot. Break, lunch, classes, toilet visits, you name it. You would see us together. She hugs me a lot, like a lot. Anytime she was free, she'd hug me. The fuck? Although I'm shorter than her, which makes hugging a little uncomfortable, and yet she still does it. Ever since then, she always stuck by me even when we had other friends, mutual around or not. She always want me to be by her side, knowing my bi ass, I kind of fell for her unknowingly. Back then, I admit I figured it was admiration or sisterly love. As I grew more with her, the more I wanted to be with her. I was somewhat homophobic to myself, denying these feelings, but it dawned on me, realizing we were at the age where we'd start looking for boyfriends and start dating. This made me realize I'm selfish. I really don't want her to date someone. Canon in van. 
During the pandemic MCO, we kind of grew distance. Distant. Although we didn't really text or call every day, we occasionally call each other up to eight hours plus. What the fuck is wrong with you? That is a girlfriend, no not offense. a best friend. Part three, back to school. This is a fucking long story. Part three, back to school, post MCO. When we came back to school slash saw each other in real life, it was the same as before. At the same time, a bit more intense than before. It was till the point we looked like we were dating. And in bracket, she wrote there, heard people talk about it, that, that's why. Awesome! Exclamation mark. Anyway, we grew together even when our hobbies didn't align. Eventually, we had to change classes in sec, sec 4. I don't know what that means. Secondary 4. Are you from Singapore? Anyway. Okay. Alright, backstory. Done, yeah. Here comes the tea. Oh, that was just the backstory. Oh, that yeah. was not even a tea. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ever since we were separated, we didn't contact much, of course, but she'd always come over to my class to look for me, to just hang out or check up on me. For example... In the, morning, she, in the morning, she'd come by my class and say good morning. The fuck? <laughs> get breakfast. Get me breakfast without telling me. Reminding me to eat. In bracket, I used to skip breaks and lunch back then. Come over just to hug me tightly. In bracket, like morning hugs to start up her day. What? Speaking of hugs, she always hugs me, but I never hug back. That's my bad. Ha 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 ha. But since secondary four, I started hugging back because the mindset of how she'll date a guy eventually in these few years is scaring me. She got her own friend group and I got my own. Eventually, she became kind of busy. She didn't visit me, so I visited her instead. Everyone knew one of the guys in her friend group liked her, except her, lol. I respected that and kept my distance, but she didn't get the memo. Became more lovey-dovey than before. From so many years of experience, I of course know we wouldn't happen. I know that what we had back then was way more than I expected. Okay, that was part three, yeah? Part, part three. four, the accidental confession. Alright, so what happened? One day after school, our mutuals were teasing her about her and the guy. I guess I got a little mad. I said sarcastically about how I fell for her fell for her for so long and I got nothing while well, he just met her but he's getting more progress something along the lines of saying how I've been chasing her for years god damn girl what the hell <laughs> why would you say that yeah what the fuck la? at first she thought I was kidding blah 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 I pretended nothing happened and said my right was here and I gotta go now I left the room she followed me but I didn't know she suddenly dragged me to the side suggesting we should actually talk about it she asked me you're not kidding right there was another long pause. We both didn't know how to continue. I really wanted to go home but didn't want to leave this on a cliffhanger. I asked her, Do you still want me to be with you? She said, Yes, I've never said I don't want to be with you. It was pretty misleading so I asked again in a different way. Do you still want the guy to chase you? Do you want to be with him? She didn't reply. At that moment, I just told her, Ah, alright, I got it. No worries. He's a good one. I pushed her hand away and said, how I really had to leave and said, see you after the holidays. At night, she suddenly texted me asking if I wasn't kidding. At first, I apologized for suddenly confessing like that. But then again, she said, dot, dot, dot. Did you just leave the fucking... You're kind of unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh my God. It's so long that it got cut off, yeah? What? Oh, okay. I apologized for suddenly confessing like that. But then she said, you know, I like you so much. This got me in such high hopes, but she continued by saying how she thought we were like friends and didn't know what to do. Apparently, she cried for hours thinking about this. She felt sorry for being the cause of my sadness. I felt bad, so I apologized again and said sorry if I made her feel regretful or anything. I told her this, and that's because she legit cried, cried. But yup, I felt sorry that I poured this onto her, knowing she has a competition in like two days, worrying this might affect her. After the tech session was quiet the next day. Until like midnight, I texted her saying, Oh, good luck for tomorrow's competition. Sorry, I can't make it to watch and cheer for you. You got this apple. The fuck is her name apple? Her name's apple. Oh, the fuck? Pingguo. She, you guys are definitely Singaporean. Pingguo. <laughs> and then she said, I'll cheer for you in my heart. Heart shape. Actually, I wasn't busy. I just didn't want to show up. Was scared that she'd be bothered by me being there. This is the beginning of lesbians knowing how to play games. She was pretty bothered by this. I felt so sorry. In the pics for the next few days, she was so no mood. Her eyes puffy too. Not her usual, her usual bubbly self. Didn't even smile when taking the award too. Oh my god, that's so fucking sad. I feel like I have an opinion to say after this ends, but okay, continue. Okay. Part 5, huh? Aftermath. Aftermath. We're almost there, y'all. 
It was left a bit on a cliffhanger, so I told her to reject me properly. Just say to my face that we can't be together. With that, at least I will admit I lost. About a week or two later, she got together with the guy. So yeah, now I'm kind of glad she ended up with him rather than being single and getting targeted by other guys in my form. She no longer looks for me and I don't look for her. She no longer hugs me, she no longer looks for me for fun, she's always with him now. It was scary. One day we were closer than ever, and then we became total strangers the next week. It was hard to move on, not gonna lie. She was the first and only intense crush I've experienced so far. I was in love with a person I couldn't unlove, but also couldn't be with. Couldn't be with the person that made me feel like they could be by my side for a long time. I hate that she still sees me clearly after leaving me in the dust. It's not that if I can't have you, then no one can kind of situation. I just want to be the first, the first one to be happy again. I used to think, what does he have that I don't? You, o- you used to always run to me when he's not around. But hey, what's important was we got to grow up together throughout most of our time in secondary school. Well, it took me about half a year to officially move on from her. There wasn't a happy ending for me still. I'm currently in a right person, wrong time situationship, sadly. I don't plan to come out yet, although my mom and aunts would usually complain about men a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I want to just ask if it's better if I find a girl instead. But doing, knowing my family, it's better not to say anything on the topic. Shouldn't trigger anything. Thank you so much for reading this long-ass story of mine. Thank you for making this podcast too. It made me realise how there are so many bi girlies slash lesbians in Malaysia. Also, is a Malaysian. Uh. Oh, you're Malaysian, okay. Yeah. I feel like this wasn't a coming out story, yeah. Uh. No, it wasn't. This is not a coming out story. So what's the opinion you want to say? I, first of all, okay, I can totally understand your perspective. Like why you feel like... I feel like sometimes people cannot explain why they feel this person won't be in their lives. Like, you know, there are some people where I know like this is a temporary person. Like no matter how much I like them, I just know one day we're not going to be together. So I understand why, why, why you felt that way and why you were sad about it. But also I feel like you were a bit self-sabotaging because in all of this it's kind of like okay I don't know that girl and I don't know what's your relationship with her in real life and everything but I feel like I feel like you also self-sabotage a bit just because you were afraid of her leaving which I think when she got together with the guy okay I feel like sometimes a lot of these girls they tend to get together for compact reasons which is like on them but also at the same time I did feel like because to her, it seemed like you were pushing away a lot, even though you had these very intense feelings about her. But like the actions you were doing was a lot more like, oh, yeah, she's gonna go there anyway. Like, mm. like you were cornering her a bit, lah. Because the thing is, like you were in secondary school. I feel like secondary school, right? A lot of people tend to be very confused about how they feel, and so it's very hard for people to make like, a definitive yes. This is the person I want to be with, and all that. Even when you go into your twenties, a lot of people are gonna be like that. They're not gonna give you a definitive yes or no, even if this person is like not influenced by comhead or anything. They will still be like unsure. So this unsure thing, you will meet it in every a lot of people actually. But I also feel like for us to like you know, find the love of our lives or whatever, we also should not self-sabotage la, and like let our gut down a bit. If we really, really like... Because it sounds like you really love this girl and it sounds like you think that she's the right person, wrong time. It sounds like you think she's the one. So I feel like if that is your mindset about her, like it helps to just let it go. You can't control everything. La. Like you can't control her getting with the guy and all that. But also like I feel like if I were her and... I was getting like these kind of responses. I would feel like you are pushing away, so that's why I would like get together with the guy. If that that's makes sense. That's true. That's true. That's true. You like yeah. it sounded like you were quite push and pull. Mm. So, do you have any opinions, Kang Nung? I feel like the mixed feeling of BFF and lesbian. <laughs> I don't know which one is. Okay. Uh, yeah. That, that that's can be valid kind of too. Confusing, yeah. Actually, yeah. That can be kind of confusing. I feel like uh, actually your friend is like uh, BFF, thinking that you are the BFF of her. But then suddenly you crush on her, and then like she don't know. Eh, actually I'm have a potential boyfriend, and then you are my friend. But suddenly you think that I'm your girlfriend, mm. so you like confused uh, the both both feelings uh. mm, that's uh. true. So even uh, for me as aging passed through the uh, secondary school, but I still think uh, this is very confusing lah. Because you now secondary school, you just like that, just very confused. Uh. Mm. Uh, I think it's very normal, yeah, to be mm. confused in secondary school. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow, I cannot believe you're all so young though. <laughs> you're gonna meet more people, don't worry about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. It's alright. So Kang you wanna read? Yeah. <laughs> read this one. My English not good, eh? Your English it's okay. Their English is also not good. They say uh, they type a lot of things I got From grammatical where error. This whole thing. Ah. Hello! <laughs> so I'm writing this after your last episode. So I just want to share with you guys about my juicy romantic love life. Okay, starting off, I met this girl through her. Is it her app? Yes, her oh, is a dating oh, app. Oh, okay. And we kind of clicked instantly and turns out that our uni were close to each other. A little bit of backstory, I was active on the app for quite some time, but she was not. And then the first night, she downloaded the apps. We matched and got to talking. Yeah, so continue we. We were taking a it slow cause both of us were still healing from the past relationships but it turns out we didn't took it slow. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Because <laughs> I, asked, I asked her to be my girlfriend on our second week of knowing each other. Th- what? Ad- anyways. What the fuck? Fast forward today, we are still going strong for one year plus already. Mm-hmm. In my head, uh, bracket in my head, we were married. So are you... Com- in conclusion, just we, just when I thought that I'm unlovable, the universe drops a gorgeous, juicy, booty, 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 beautiful sabanan girl. Shit. Sabanan girl. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> damn. Okay. She's going uh, happy to for go you. Study overseas soon, so we'll be going through long distance. But it's okay. It's a starting of our new chapter. To be honest, no worry, cause we we always communicate and talk talk through everything. That's good. Okay, mm-hmm. at this point, I'm showing off. I'm so sorry. Just wanna share with you guys. Love will come at the right time and let the universe decide. But for now, slay service serve life. That's all for me. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, I'm mentally. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is a mentally. I. I'll Mentally coo- ill coochie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so hard to read. <laughs> Mentally ill coochie sixty nine, and I'm from Subang. Bracket yes, healthy Subang lesbian to exist. We we'll, we just like to keep it private. Thank you for creating this podcast. I look forward to every episode. You don't understand. I live for this. <laughs> the, the, there's no question in it. There's no, but fuck. But it sounds like they're quite young though. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> the part where they dropped a gorgeous, juicy, booty, beautiful Saban. <laughs> Shit! I'm so happy for you though. Yeah. Damn. Uh, we're happy for you too. Uh, mentally ill Kushi69. From Subang. We love healthy Subang lesbians. But, oh my god, I'm just curious how old this person is. Yeah, we're curious how old you are. Mentally ill Kuchi 69 Yeah, please message us and tell us how old you are Mentally ill Kuchi 69 From Subang Okay I don't think I don't have any opinion on this, honestly Yeah, I just we, we're just happy for you Yeah Oh my god, this one fucking long, yeah Okay, your What's turn this about? Oh my god I knew I'm attracted to women since elementary school I had a little crush on my teacher Why all of what? you have crushes on your teachers? All of us have the Jesus. same Jesus <laughs> I think she was in her early 20s, cringing at myself. I was only 11 years old. (laughs) Jail time. (laughs) Uh, Then, I was 12 years old. I had another crush on my best friend, who grew up together. I told her about my feelings, and she avoided me for a while, and I regretted telling her about it. But anyways, don't care lah. After that, I was feeling so confused because I'm not sure what does it mean, and why am I the odd one. I told my dad about my feelings, for my friend and he told me it's okay to feel this way because I was growing woke that he asked me not to make a decision so soon because my feelings might change as I grow older that's such a typical advice but I mean valid also lah and that I am still his daughter he will still love me even if I turn out to be a lesbian next wow. time that's so cute that's cute on 2018 I was 19 I met this girl through friends from uni she was so into me and I was like wow god girl like me leh then after a while we started dating and did all kinds of shit you know what la damn okay, okay. <laughs> alright alright actually while we were dating I think my family knew that she might be my GF but I just did not care to say anything because I know this relationship won't end well huh 
Anyway, half year through the relationship, I sensed that she was cheating on me, okay. and I was fucking right. She always take my money to pay for meals for that other girl, which is one of her best friends. Lol. Then I ignore law, so I thought she can do better, ma. I was blind too. Then we still dated for another half year, <laughs> <laughs> which I barely talked to her to or see her because I know she was with that friend. After a year, I couldn't take it anymore. It was too toxic for me and my mental health. After broken up, so much drama began because that friend thought we broke up way long ago. Oh! Suddenly, another woman appeared from their circle of friends. Another woman appeared. Oh my god! And started defending me lah. She know what I've been through and pity me. I thought she was hot and very smart person, <laughs> like my type. <laughs> You're so fucking funny. <laughs> After a while, we just ignored what was in the past, and we started talking to each other for like six months. Then we started dating. What the fuck? You know, it's just so unhinged. <laughs> Between that six months, she went back to Australia to study. We just wanted to wait it out and see how it goes before we got into a relationship. Six months later, she came back to KL for holiday. I asked her to be my girlfriend. Hee <laughs> hee. Then we dated for nearly four years, and wow. we ended things quite rough. Oh, okay. There's so many things happening. Um, okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, she was the girl who made me feel like I was so ready to come out to my family, even though I did come out to my dad at twelve years old. But this time, confirm, confirm, lesbian all the way. Okay. I came out to them individually and sat them down to talk. I was so nervous; my heart was beating so fucking fast. It was like life and death situation. But it took it quite okay, lah. My dad was very supportive and said I'm still his daughter and will still love me. My mom was like, I kind of knew already, lah, because one day during dinner, your elder sister said, "Hey, uh, May May like girls." She said, "Lol." My sis outed me. I briefly told her about my sexuality long time ago before we went to sleep. We shared rooms, sure, every night chit chat before sleep. <laughs> girl Also the girl I was dating Also came out a few days later After me But her parents took it badly And asked her to see doctor I was pissed lah So I showed them I was a good girl For their daughter I kept showing up Always cook for their family Then they started Accepting me And us as their partners And included me In most of the family gatherings mm. The Chinese New Year dinners Okay when we were in our second or third year dating, I lived in their home almost every day. Damn. <laughs> and I would go back to my own house like four to five days every two weeks. Wow. My family did not like the person I was. I, I don't blame them. Um, mm. <laughs> and said that my girlfriend was controlling me and not letting me go home. Of course, I defended her. I was so ready to marry this woman. Why would they think badly of her? Anyway, we broke up lah, and she encouraged me to pursue my dream as a chef in Australia. Wow. Then planned to get a PR, then get married, and we even adopted a dog together. Things changed when I came here. Long distance, really not easy, even though we had tried long distance for a year when we started dating. It's great memory, but now we just don't click anymore. Wish I could have met a few lesbian friends in KL to hang out with. I realized I don't even have one lesbian friend around me. It would be nice to hang out with the community, right? No. Thank you for creating this podcast to entertain or educate me. I truly appreciate it. Both of you took the time to do such thing. Really not easy. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Th- that was a good story. I like that. Yeah. That what are your thoughts? Happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it happy ending? Wait, they, 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 they broke ended up, up. Yeah, they broke but up. Ma. This person seems pretty okay. Like, with yeah, this life. person seems like they don't give a fuck about anything. This, you sound <laughs> like a fucking Aquarius. Yeah, you sound like a you sound fucking like an Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> Oh my god It's not like a flighty fucking Aquarius That like it doesn't fucking like You know <laughs> It's so fucking funny This one looks long Or oh, is it the one that I read? No This is not the one that you read But we gotta move on to The The dating horror stories Okay Okay we just do dating uh. We do four dating horror stories Yeah Fucking long also yeah Look at this shit Okay Oh my god There's so many goddamn fucking words Okay Hi, love your videos and I look forward to watching more of them. Smiley face, this story happened a few years ago. This girl, let's call her B, was a popular girl at my workplace. Fair, bubbly and pretty. We were acquaintances before this and somewhere in between we added each other on Instagram and started chatting almost daily. I always assumed she was straight but through the course of the chat, realised she was bi-curious. Anyway, back then I was recently single and decided to ask if she was interested to date. Eventually, we agreed to date on her terms, non-committal. Of course. Mm-hmm. Dating, we- dating went on for a while, but somehow I always kind of sensed that she was kind of flaky about things. She would share 
her trauma with me, drawing me in with her sob stories, stories about being cheated by exes, about being abused, making me feel like I want to treat her right, lol, and giving enough breadcrumbs to string me along. This went on for more than a year, and finally one on one drunken night, she confessed that she was actually back with her ex-boyfriend. Canon event. Wow. It should have been my sign to move on, but silly me was in too deep by then just to walk away. After that night, I tried to distance myself, but she came back with the regular texting and all. A few months later, I confessed my feelings to her, and this time she ghosted me. Three weeks later, she came back and we spent a night together. What the fuck does that mean? In bracket, we almost did, but we did not get intimate, okay? Even after this, I was still stupidly clinging on to false hope that there was a chance for B and I. This situationship imploded eventually with a fight between us on another drunken night. Since then, we've cut each other out from our lives. I found out months later that she got married to her ex-boyfriend. In hindsight, there were signs that the boyfriend was there all along even before B and I were dating. I don't even think they broke up. So I was probably just her side piece straight girl experiment. But I'm glad to say that I've moved on and I am in a healthy place now. Just wanted to share this piece of horror story with you guys. It fucked me up real bad, but it was also a really good lesson on boundaries and when to walk away from a situation. Heart shape. B sucks. B sucks. Um, actually, this is a pretty good story too, I feel. Sad. Yeah, sad. it's sad. It's a sad story. It's sad lah. Yeah, I feel like this is uh, unfortunately such a common thing and that's why like so many lesbians hate by curious women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. y'all do this shit. This is not the first time this is happening. It's happened to a lot of people and it's the same fucking story. It's the same shit you will hear all over and over again. So it's like... I don't know. I don't know if anyone is by curious watching our podcast lah but like... If you really do watch all the episodes, you will kind of understand why, like, we just have such distaste towards bi-curious women. I mean, it's fine. It's just that, like, you guys don't like to find other bi-curious women. You always find the lesbians yeah, or, like, yeah. bisexual women. You don't yeah. find the people who are also in the same bi-curious stage as you. If you want to beca- become bi-curious, never mind. Just go find other bi-curious women. Like, don't fuck around with people who actually are looking for relationships and, like, healthy partners mm. and partners who they will actually get married to not suddenly you get married to your boyfriend who actually has been in the picture for the whole time and then afterwards you string like someone along yeah fuck anyway you. the suffix hate you so please yeah fuck, do fuck better by curious community fuck off okay Kang Neng, this one is a bit long yeah <laughs> this is a bit long yeah which one From this one, uh, uh, this one uh. Uh, 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 uh. okay Hey, Faye and Zoe. <laughs> so my story, dot dot. I'm so sorry for this long story. I've been dating girls since I was 14. But I've only dated like two girls. The first one was fine. It's just that people fell out of love. Nothing much to share about the first girl. But the second girl, forget. Let her, let's call, call her A. Why all of you is it? Let's call A, let's call A, B, her B, C, D, E, F, G. Was a fucking e, traumatizing. <laughs> Keep in mind, I only came out to my close friends. It started on 2021, September 2021, question marks. Uh, yeah, around that time. This girl just moved to my school. Mm-hmm. Again, early 2021, but we keep become friends through a close friend of mine and let call her C. E. Oh my god. Wait, wait, call a, her so there's uh, A and E. Okay, A and, a and, a and okay. E. Got it. Why, why you skip B, C, D? <laughs> and I'm from a convent school. Oh. What's so many school? canon events. Uh, like Christian oh. Like those girls school Like Catholic Ooh, okay I was so attracted To her bro Even though She's a different class She's in a different class I would like to Go to her class And talk to my friends Just so I can see her Wow So fast forward To February 2022 I confessed to her Because at the time She kept give, giving me Mixed signals And it confused me But She said she She's not interested in dating girls, so yeah, I tried to move on. A few weeks later, E told me that A likes me back. What? But she didn't want to admit it. And I still, I wanted to move on. I ignored her in school. I don't go to her class anymore. Mm. One day, she approached me and asked, Are you ignoring me? Duh. My heart was beating so fast, I couldn't speak, just like I just stared at her. Then after school, she texted me, saying, I have something to tell you, but uh, I'm still unsure. Uh, Without knowing that, I'm actually wa- know what it was about. So a few days later, she told me she's like she liked me, and I was confused. My childhood friend, 
bracket B was not really supportive when me and A got together. Okay. Yeah, 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 a lot. Uh. I fucking need to draw a mind I haven't map. dated a girl since 2019, so like it felt like the first time again. So I, yeah, so yeah, I, we got together and it was really toxic. Like she would blame me for everything while she go out with his guy friend. She's fucking manipulator and mind you, this was during my SPM year. Ooh. Every other week, we would, she would go out with his guy friend without even telling me. Mm. We've only been together for two months at that time, question mark. I oh. honestly don't remember the time frame. And as I said, my friend weren't, su- weren't re- really support, supportive of my relationship. Then fast forward to early 2023, she cheated on me oh. with her ex-boyfriend that assaulted <sighs> her. What? <laughs> her ex-boyfriend that assaulted her? Yeah. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you? Oh. oh my god. Me, E and B did, didn't expect she would so such thing. YK is what? Huh? YK. No. You know. Uh. Uh, you know, but ha ha ha. Don't judge the innocent looking girls. It happened literally right before my SPM started, so I was distracted with everything that happened. The night we broke out, uh, we broke out, my sister called me asking how I was doing because she's working in KL at mm. the moment. Mm. Uh, at that moment and I'm from East Malaysia mm. I had to come out to my sister because I was crying when she called me mm. I'm glad that she really supportive and so I had to tell her about that girl after SPM I had to cut off my close friend E and B because of that cheater ruined our, ruined our friendship Oh! I started taking care of my fr- myself and not, not telling anyone to hurt me like that again but throughout my healing journey the cheater would force me to meet up with her. Uh? I really planned to moving to West Malaysia and I found out she really dating a guy after we broke up. The, the, a different guy la mao. <laughs> <laughs> so she went and cheated on you with the abuser who assaulted her and just to get a new boyfriend. Uh. Okay. Uh, no words. Okay. Basically she used me so that she can move on from her ex boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, so now I'm studying in West Malaysia and I met a new girl. Okay. My mom liked her. Oh. Likes her and I finally came out to my siblings. Yay, I haven't come out to my parents because I didn't have time to go back to East Malaysia yet. Hopefully my hopefully mother and father will accept me for being a lesbian. Anyway, thank you so much for reading my shitty love's life. I'm much happier with my girl now. Keep doing this podcast because I'm your not one supporter. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. But oh my fucking god! By the way, I went to left surface in Subang. Left surface. Left surface in Subang. What, what uh, the hell is that? Ago. Maybe the left, left side. Okay. Uh, and someone approached me asking if I'm gay because of my outfit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they told me about our community in Selangor that have an Instagram account. I requested them, but they haven't sent me a DM. Mm. The account is. Uh, oh. Uh, I've always want to go met to meet ups or or parties with our community. Ah, uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of this story, Kangnung? Everybody Confusing. seems to be, huh? <laughs> why why why, why girls like to, go back go back to the bad guy though. <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is a very good question that none of us. Like know the answer Is that the, the thing called The Stock- Stockholm Syndrome Stockholm Syndrome I, I don't it, know It's a psychology thing that If you get kidnapped by someone Then we'll fall in love With the kidnapper Oh uh, That kind of Psychology You know how I was telling you That thing about how like I feel like uh, Women uh, they, they just have this Okay I don't know What's the sexuality Of your ex la, But then anyway Like women how they Like for men It's so easy to detach For like women Like let's say I'm done with this one Then I'm like Going to move on To the next one Women they always Just keep going back To mm. this man Or whatever mm. And it's not the first time Because I've been On a lot of dates Where like All these women Well they were bi-curious Also They would tell me Shit like Oh this man treated me Like how Cheated on me How many times This and that But then I will like later on see them still posting Insta stories with this guy and all that. Mm. So I just don't understand this thing. And I feel like honestly it says more about them because it's like, okay, you go around telling everybody this guy did this shit and that shit to you, but why are you still with him? Mm. I know it's not easy to leave a person, especially like 
you know sometimes when you have a toxic bond with someone it's very hard to leave but also like why just leave like damn there's really no other way to put it you know but yeah. like why stay yeah. and what's the point of going around telling everyone this guy assaulted me this guy this and that but then you always still with the guy yeah. it's kind of on you yeah yeah it's a you problem actually yeah like the, allo- the kind of people you allow into your life uh. mm. exactly like okay the guy is shitty cheat on you or whatever like give you trauma but you still allow that mm. so yeah I know healing is not linear but yeah. damn it gotta be linear at some point <laughs> the fuck <laughs> okay share like a iPhone the gift here Okay, so that's uh, my girlfriend's friend, uh-huh. she's like uh, straight girls, uh-huh. and uh, and she dated a guy. Uh-huh. So this guy cheated on her like during the relationship with another few girls. Okay. Which, uh, then he has a kind of like uh, just one. P how just one? Fetish. Oh. He will record the safe sex tape oh, during the sex, the fuck? and then just keep in phone. So her. Uh, my girlfriend's friends already know that his phone has this all the records. Then she already know he's cheated on her. Then she they broke up a few times. Then she should go back to the guy though. Oh my god! Uh, she already know that she keep cheating and then he keep uh, typing the story, sharing that oh I I hate this guy, whatever I very I very Christian like that. But she still go back to him. Oh. Yeah. I also don't understand. Uh, I don't yeah. get it too. Like, girls normally like the bad guy one or. Oh. Uh, no, they can, because they think they can fix him. Oh, that's the problem. They always think they can fix the guy. So also the ego, uh, It's an ego it's thing. Like, it's like the similar thing that the guy thinks that they can, they can fix the lesbian girl. Is it, Actually, yes. Is, yes. Is it like the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Like when someone is difficult to you, you just feel like accomplished. You you want to be like, okay, that's my project now. Mm. Like, I want to fix this person. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. But this is fucked up, lah. You all need to stop this, yeah. Yeah. Just stop. <laughs> fucking stop it, lah. Oh my stop. fucking god. Fucking stop. <laughs> Stop Get the fuck out of here <laughs> Enough oh Enough god. Enough Oh my god This one uh, quite long also yeah Really Yeah you gotta read these two Because these two are the same story uh. Y'all are damn chong hey chong But then hey. we have a podcast so Yeah yeah Hi, first of all, I just want to say that I really like your videos. I'm still a newbie for the community. A lot of the videos really helped me a lot. Thank Good. you. I just want to share a bit about my coming out and also my dating life. So I chose this Google form. Ever since I was in kindergarten, I always knew I liked girls until now. You know, I always have feelings towards my friends, especially when we are close, but I never act on it until I came to university. So this part will show my red flag, but I swear I already changed. Okay. During my foundation, my first sem was fully online, so I only knew my classmates and became close to them. I ended up being in a group of four, and I got really close to this girl. Our closeness was like Google Meet 24-7, updating each other every time we buy each other's food. So at the moment, I knew that I was falling for her. (laughs) Then, second Sam came, we met face to face and became really close and she ended up staying in my room for the whole semester. During her birthday, I confessed to her and she was rejecting me. On her birthday? Why would you do that on her birthday? Why would you do that on her birthday? No! Oh no! You traumatized her! (gasps) Bruh! Okay. Uh, I confessed to her and she was rejecting me that I ended up being distanced with her. Okay, that's kind of on you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. She noticed that and ended up accepting me. Huh? Out of guilt? The fuck? So uh, confusing. Damn, our relationship was going well until I start to become close with another girl. Okay, in this story, <laughs> you are the problem, yeah? You are the problem. You are the fucking problem. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Which we will call her T. T. <laughs> Somehow y'all need know how to pick all the different like letters that doesn't clash. I start become close with T after three months. I'm with my ex, and became close with and uh, wait. I start become close with T after three months. I'm with my ex, okay. and there was nothing more. At okay. the end of the semester of foundation, we got three months break before our degree. Okay. Starting from the SEM break, T and I became really close that she ended up visiting me during the first month's break and also the last month of break. Throughout the break, T always chatting me and video calling me the same as my girlfriend did. Oh. When my ex found out about me and T, she was jealous. I became furious since I know that I did not do anything with T and we had a big fight. To make it better, I directly asked I asked directly to T about her feelings towards and guess what? My ex was right. The moment I knew answers from T, my mind changed 180. 
I knew what I did was fucked up, but I kept lion tea and I started to ignore my ex. Are you had a you big know? fucking problem, like, oh my god! Serious? What is your fucking What's problem? Your fucking problem? Like, and no way you can be that dense. I'm pretty sure you know what you're doing. Oh also. my god. You, you are the problem. You are the one that we always talk shit about motherfuckers, right? You are the motherfucker that we talk shit about. You honestly. gotta get it together. The fuck? fuck? Oh my god. Degree came, both my ex and T studying abroad while I still stay in local. They should get together. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like if I would, I'm the ex, I would do that. My communication between my ex become worse and T and I became close. Ah! Oh no. T start video calling me and ask how I'm doing every day. Since I knew what I did was wrong, I broke up with my ex and start pursuing T! No, that you is are not, crazy! That is not the solution. The solution is if you know that you are wrong, you break things off with T and then fix things with your ex, not the other way around. What's wrong with you? Do you know what you want? Mind you, me and T were still not in any relationship and I could say it was a situationship. Stupid! You broke up with your ex over a fucking situationship? You dumbass! Oh my god, get it together! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Okay. Um, when T knew about it, she started to distance herself from me and ghosted me for a few days. Deserved! Deserved. When T did that, I was feeling heartbroken and I ended Deserved. up ig- ignoring my studies and failed one of my exams. <laughs> No offense, but deserve. Deserve. Dude, you are a cheater. So the fact is, T didn't know about your ex and your ex. Oh my god. Oh my god, you are a cheater. The failed exams is deserved. I tried to keep myself stronger and I just kept replying to her, but not as usual. When T came back to Malaysia, she acted very clingy with me and she uh? always contacted me back to and buying me things. Uh? Then I decided to send her to airport for her to continue her classes and the next day she ghosted me back. From then on, I decided to remove my life that I deleted her number, remove from social media, delete her picture. I take a break from any dating from then on and build myself up. Well, that okay, is okay. just part one. We're going to part two. Hey, this, all the problems are is actually started by you. Yeah. Okay, it's not okay, by okay. any any of these girls. Okay, okay. okay. Remind reminder at the start of the story, she said, "I knew this is fucking red flag, but I have changed." Okay, we are here okay, to okay. listen to part okay, two. Okay, we, we're going to give redeem you the yourself b- now. Benefit. Fuck. You know I'm reading this, <laughs> and then this this one phase Zoe buckle off. <laughs> okay, but we haven't reached there yet. So for part two, this year I started playing her app during June and okay. click with this one person. Let's call her N. Okay, and our conversation was clicking very fast. We started talking every day to the app, and for the second week, we start WhatsApp with each other and calling every night. Okay. This time, I was feeling very cautious since I'm afraid I would get ghosted again. Oh, that, well, that was, that what was you your were, problem, ah. That, that's what you're cautious yeah. about. I think I would be cautious of you. Yeah. So I decided to take things slow, and she was fine with it. After a month talking to her, I feel connection deeply. I really aspire her. Um, since she's openly come out to her family and her friends are very acceptable I forgot to mention I only come out to my ex T and also N when I started being with N I finally get the courage to come out to my close friends and I could say that they're accepting but not fully but they still treat me the same from then on I became more open about my situation with N towards my friends oh boy I thought it was going well for me but I was wrong well, after about 5 karma. months talking to her she started to text me less and less uh. I was being husnutson I don't Maybe I, I was being has nuts I don't know what hesitant I mean. that she might be dealing with some issues because she sometimes got sick or taking a break from online world. Mm. She would not text me for weeks. Became two weeks after that, I decided to visit her place since I was on Sam break and met her. Everything was going well, and for a few days she kept chatting me and asked how my day was. And then boom, she disappeared. Until now, counted almost two months. Her huh? social media was still following me, and I tried calling and texting her, but there's no response. So should I still wait for her to move on? There's another problem. I stopped being close to this one girl. I you start again? To all the again? Girls, like, oh my god! <laughs> this time, I put myself really just as a friend with her, but I always feel like she always giving me mixed signals. Sometimes she likes my repost about WLW, send me TikTok about crush, then compliment me about being handsome. Am I being the Lulu much? Hey, the Lulu is not a problem now, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, that's the end? Yeah! That's the end? Yeah! What the fuck is your Where okay, you said red flag, right? At the start you said red flag, but you have changed now. Where where's the change? What's the change? The last thing where? is am I the Lulu now? <laughs> <laughs> the Lulu is the least of your concerns, okay? The Lulu is not the Sololo. <laughs> fuck! Any thoughts come? <laughs> I just think that female way is so complicated. <laughs> I'm not following. <laughs> You're not following? You lost? You I got lost? I lost. <laughs> so basically, 
she had a girlfriend then she cheated on the girlfriend with someone okay and then the girlfriend suspected that the someone that she, that that had that likes her lah mm. but then she still don't care she still hang up she still like talk a lot with the the second person right okay. number two okay then eventually like um basically the whole thing is that she realized that she was wrong you know mm. because she had the girlfriend which is person one and she cheated cheated lah with mm. person two mm. so her solution to the thing that she did wrong is to break up with the girlfriend and pursue person two okay <laughs> that, okay. that, that, that is what she did yeah mm. so she did okay and then both both uh um the ex which is person one and person two went mm. and studied abroad then person two come back and then after that started like ghosting her mm. and shit like that and then broke up and then she started crying a lot mm. she cried a lot and then she failed her fucking exams okay good for you deserved okay and then after that, okay, okay, she stopped dating already. She said, okay, I got, I, I need to be by myself, blah, 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 blah. Then she go on the dating app. Mm. And then she started dating this one person. And then she was cautious because she's scared she get ghosted again. Mm. Okay, so she was cautious and blah, blah. Then did they get into a relationship? Oh, yes, they got into a relationship. And then because of that relationship, person three, yeah, she mm. got into a relationship, okay. person three. So she came out to her family and her friends. And then like, you know, she, mm. she thought like her friends very supportive and all of that. And okay, everything's going fine. Then after that, person three ghosted her. Mm. For two months Was it two months? I think so uh, Person 3 ghosted her okay. So then after that Ghosted her already Then Suddenly She got close to person number 4 And Damn. that was the end of the story And then the The question Am I the Lulu? Yeah that's it You are the Tani <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god Enough la we Get it together Enough Shit Enough la Fuck way Yeah anyway Any thoughts On this fuckery? <laughs> we we already said our thoughts She is the problem She needs to get it The fuck together Jesus fucking Christ mm. 同意不同意 Is it 同意? Yeah 同意不同意 同意 赞 史上最赞 You are not the Lulu You are the Hai Wang <laughs> <laughs> See you see what we mean ah, By lesbians are just as bad as men mm. They're really just as bad as men. This is something a man would do. And then uh, you see all these fucking lesbians, uh, they're always like, oh, men are like this, men are like that, we can do better than men. No, you y'all, cannot. Y'all be doing this? You hypocrite. Do hypocrite. Oh my god. Fucking hypocrite <laughs> ass. Fucking. I swear to fucking god. Get anyway, it together. Next story. Next one is also messy. By the way, you're not the victim in this situation. Yeah, you're not the fucking victim. So you need some Yes, yes, yes. You yes. get some cups. I need you want the water, cups to exist, my. You are not the fucking victim, okay? Oh, Whatever that you've done, ah. I need this to represent the ABC. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. That's, nice, man. That's, That's a good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the coming. Oh, the, the coming, story, yeah. In case got the uh, ABC. Like the oh, this yeah, one yeah. also got ABC, <laughs> yeah. This also got ABC. Okay, okay. We start with the next story, yeah, guys. Okay, Faye, Zoe. Dot dot dot. Buckle up, cause this is messy. I'm we nineteen. Know. Your typical androgynous bi girl. You know what androgynous is, right? Uh, no. Androgynous is kind of like a, a person who kind of like, they look like they can bend the genders. Like oh. they, they, they look good like as whatever they are. So it's kind of like masculine but feminine but neither. But it's referred to female? In simple terms, they look like boy or girl. Yeah, they will look good, good as boy oh. or look good as girl. Oh, oh okay, okay. So yeah, kind they kind of look like both. Let me, let me show you an example. One of my crushes. Which one? The, the Chinese oh, one. Oh, eh, no lah, that one not that androgynous lah. But I think to Kang Neng, he might think it's androgynous. Okay. Yeah. Liu, Liu Yixing, you know Liu Yixing? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, is it that one? Exactly like Liu oh. Yixing, and also this one. Like, Dang. this one. It's like... You nah you ni? You bu nah you bu ni? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Okay, I get it. Okay, okay. okay. but so, I love okay. Liu Yixing. Huh? Androgynous. Androgynous. Yeah, androgynous. androgynous. Alright. Okay. I'm 19, your typical androgynous bi girl. It all started at the end of 2022 when I just stepped foot into college for my A levels. My ex crush, let's call her A. Put one cup. Okay. To go to A. Ex crush, uh, A. I knew her through a high school friend of mine. It wasn't love at first sight, I swear. It was just the, oh yeah, she's pretty cute, that's all. Cause she looks straight. Long hair with bangs, super shy when we first met, as we kept bowing at each other politely. What? You bow at each other politely. Huh? You're so you're like fucking Harry Gato. Oh hi yo. Okay, okay. So you bow at each other politely, yeah. We all probably have trauma from straight girls already, so I ruled her out of the equation quite early on. And my gym mate then B had a crush on her. Okay. 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 All right. 
Okay, wait ah, uh, fucking them a lot of So words, this right? one like this one. Uh, mm. uh, uh. He would always talk about her when we work out at the gym after classes. Sometimes when A goes out with another guy. You need. Uh, you might no, get... maybe A should be this one because A is the uh, other girl. A, 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 A uh, so B and another guy. B is the gym and C is the other guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, he would uh, always talk about her after class. Sometimes when A goes out with another guy. He would work out heavily out of jealousy. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! But then there was a period of time after A he had a crush on me. Ha? Huh? Eh? Okay, 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 okay. So, so on you ah, uh, you ah, uh, you are, uh, you are this one. You are this one ah. Uh. You are this one. You like A, okay? But then your gym bro also like A. Mm. Then A will go out with another guy. Then suddenly your gym bro like you. Okay. Damn. Shit. Shit. So many. I need. I need to fucking. We need to have a whiteboard here, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. But then after. But then there was a period of time after A he had a crush on me. But we shall skip that part because I like another girl back then. Can so we. we get, uh, can we, we get? God. Oh, we need different different cup design. Oh, we can use your temper. Like okay. Temper. Okay. You like the other girl. Okay. Okay. Alright, but then you like another girl. So the ecosystem is like this lah. Uh, he likes you, you like him, they like you. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck lah. But we shall skip that part because I like another girl back then. So back to it. A and I text quite often for weeks. Huh? Huh? A and I text quite often for weeks. Okay, it's the kind of text where you reply one by one after days of not texting back, cause we were still adjusting to college life. Though we always text like normal friends, she will always let B and her other friends know that she still thinks I'm really hot every time I pass by. Wow. Okay. Since we are not the same class, B would let me know at the gym. Oh my god, it's so fucking confusing right now. Okay, did you all get the picture? Yes. So, you like her, but you always text her. Ah ah ah. The fuck. Then you go to gym, lah. Jiang, I every day go to gym. Hey, gym, lah. Every day, Jiang, I'm at gym. Okay, okay, got it. Then, then, then uh, okay, okay. So let me get this right, ah. So A also every time tell B, right? A tell B, it's like, wow, I think she very hot every time she walk past, mm. right? Then because this one is not in the in the social circle, so ah, uh, what you tell Jim, ah, uh, then Jim will tell you. Correct, oh? Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. This cup right. is helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She came back from Japan after the December two thousand and twenty two holidays. And when we came back to college, I was waiting outside the hallway to enter class. She came out of nowhere, stood extremely close to me, and hand me a paper bag. It was filled with cute stationeries and all. Then during my nineteenth birthday, she crocheted me a cute bear pouch with a heart shape to hold my earphones. Since then, I've always carried it around with me. Then slowly, I developed feelings for her unknowingly. Okay, so you developed feelings for A, yeah? Now you no more like the other girl. Okay. We've oh. hung out a couple of times, like fetching bubble tea or have Korean food together. Dot dot. Until somewhere around April, after she expressed how badly she did on a chemistry test, I cupped her face and I said, "I'll bring you out on a date after AS A's mock exams." Okay. Then rushed to my chemistry class. Okay, so it's still A and this person. Basically, this person is irrelevant now, is it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's irrelevant. So this one can read. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, Never know. The down. fuck. Okay. All right. We did <laughs> like playing chess. We did end up going back to Aquaria KLCC for a date. Had a great time there, no mm-hmm. doubt. And since she was camera shy, we took back pictures of us looking at the sharks in the underwater tunnel. After that, I did tell some friends about how it went. Eh, how it went as I'm quite vocal when I like someone. Suddenly, around June, before we ended our actual exams, with last two papers remaining, she texted me a long rejection text. Ah, now only text. Ah, what the fuck. Saying that she feels tension between us, thought it was all just jokes. That she's not good at expressing how she feels, but she only sees me as a friend, and that she is not ready to be in a relationship. You know, typical rejection text. We are neighbor. Uh. Okay, I'm all cool with rejection though. I didn't even confess to her because I didn't want to break the news when we were both handling exams. Oh, but we did agree to stay friends, and we always greet each other when we see each other around campus. Okay, so you all like. This one, we get you. Okay, so we all stay friends. Okay. Later, I'm gonna come back in the picture. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> fast forward to October 2023. 
when we were dealing with exams again, why always during exam period? What the fuck is wrong the with you? The theme is exams, exams, exams. <laughs> priorities. You'll be failing your exams, okay? Yeah, priorities, okay? Fast forward to October 2023, when we were dealing with exams again, a friend told me about a mutual. See, another cup. Another cup? Can I just use this? Oh, fuck. C, yeah. C, okay. C. C? What is that? Is it Omega oil? No, it is to clean my coffee machine. Powder. Okay, let's see. Okay? A little backstory. C is a guy... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. When we were dealing with exams again, a friend told me about a mutual C and how he was having a secret relationship with A. Oh, damn. What? Oh, so they were together God. the whole time? Are you fucking kidding me? Shit. A <sighs> little backstory. C is a guy best friend of A. I was very nice to C, sending him my notes, past year papers, and even giving him tips on how to study on the train. He was in a relationship with another high school friend of mine, D. So, C is D? fucking two-timing A and D. Am I getting this shit right? Because what the fuck? You were right when you said it was messy, yeah? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Y'all, y'all should fucking fail your exams. Yala, fuck. The fuck? Idiot. He was in a relationship with another high school friend of mine, D, for quite, uh, for, for quite where? For quite long, then broke up. Okay, broke up already. Okay. I never really questioned why. Because it wasn't my place to ask, and I am someone who doesn't like getting into dramas. Well, you seem to be getting in a fuckload of dramas right you now. You see, we put a cups the here. The fuck la. Until that the reason, that the real reason him and D broke up was because he pressured her for sex, okay? So C is a fucking assaulter. Uh, yes, C he's cancelled. C pressured D for, for sex, okay? Saying things like, I'll find someone else to do it with if you don't do it with me. Fuck you, you C. You know what? Fuck C. Fuck C. Hope he fails all his exams. Yeah. He would let A sit on his lap in front of D. Oh, oh my god, A fuck. is a big fucking problem as well, man. Uh, he would let A sit on his lap in front of D when they were dating. What the fuck? fuck A is oh. fucked up. That's not it. He also took his bad grades for SPM out on D. Oh my god. Oh, so he has bad grades, no surprise. Poor, poor D, man, poor D. That's why he broke up. Not only that, wait, he told a friend of mine that he is still trying to send letters to his ex D to win her back. Fucking stupid, right? He also followed a girl that looked like his ex D on the LRT home. He followed her home. And when he realizes it wasn't his ex's house, he left. He even said he wanted both A and D at the same time. Like, one is not enough? Shit. That's obviously not why I have beef with him. It's the fact that he said bad things behind my back about me to A when I was chasing her, like nitpicking, saying things like, oh, maybe she doesn't like you enough, something like that. Also, he helped A with the rejection text to me. Oh my god. I you understand know how A is bad at expressing how she feels, but it just feels so disrespectful for him to get involved in the situation. He played a part in this because remember the time I said I'm vocal when I like someone? He was there. I didn't know he had feelings for A too, and felt so bad for quite a long time. Until my friend showed me a screenshot of a conversation between A and him that really disgusted me. Basically, it starts off with him texting A with, How is my favourite person today? A responded with, Oh, you're making me blush. A then sent a pic of a cut open cookie and said, I wish my legs were split open. What the fuck is wrong with A? Fuck. Yo, fucked up. <laughs> she then continued with, By you, to him. And bear in mind that he was sending screenshots of this conversation to my friend that then showed me, if not, I wouldn't even believe it because of how innocent she looks from the outside. Conclusion is, never let the world know who you are interested in. And the fact I knew all of this after 15 months is crazy. But we all graduated in November 2023 last month and I won't be seeing them again and want nothing to do with both of them anymore. Anyways, trauma aside, I really love the podcast and I value the great editing, Zoe. Thank you. Faye, you are extremely beautiful and I love your vibes. Thank you, and I really admire the both of you for bringing out amazing quality content for everyone. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much to unpack here, but thank you so much for supporting the podcast. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is the last, last fucking story we're going to read. Okay, okay Kangna. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? 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 I have no fucking words. Also, I feel like A is a big fucking red flag okay. because I'm pretty sure A knows about like this whole shit going on with D because you know that's obviously the girlfriend, right? What are you going to see on people's lap? Yeah. It's disrespectful what as hell. What in the fuck, la, really? A is fucked up, okay? You dodge a bullet you like dodge a bullet. big time. You dodge a big ass fucking bullet. Big fucking bullet. Oh Jesus my fucking God. Christ. Get it together. 
Okay, actually, you're not really the problem. Yeah, la. you're not the problem. So it's really all these fucked up people in the gym. Fuck, I don't, I don't have words. I don't have anything to say at this point, actually. I'm, I'm still shocked. Processing. The <laughs> fuck. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, your thoughts. C, is a tanan, <laughs> and A enjoyed it. You're right, actually. A enjoyed it doing that. I think so too, mm. because it's like, I feel like she likes the fact that, you know, he's like oh making his ex jealous and like whatever, and also like mm. trying to be this. I don't know. I think she just likes the drama. A. It sounds like it because it's mm. like she already know like how C is like as a person, mm. and she still be involved in that. Mm. Sounds to me like she just likes it, and that's why she's a fucking, you know, enabler in this situation also. I so. I don't have shit to say. Really. I don't. I, my brain is my brain just gone. Okay. <laughs> I also don't know what to say. I mean, you are not the problem lah. But fuck um A and C lah. Really. Yeah. Fuck A and C. And D is a poor thing. D. They deserve <laughs> each other. A and C. Yeah, A and C. Fuck. Oh my god. D, go for healing. Wow, but the cups explain it really well. Yeah, the cups are a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we should start doing that next time if we yeah, have yeah, this yeah, episode. Yeah, 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 we should. Just Cause bring a whiteboard. Like yeah, 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 oh yeah, 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 whiteboard yeah, yeah. as well. I have two whiteboards upstairs. Next time we use whiteboard. Okay. Mm. Or oh, we can read it from my laptop and then we can use your iPad to draw. Um, but whiteboard they can see clearer, ma. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, enough. <laughs> Stop it, ah. Uh. Enough. Oh my god. Enough. And y'all just in fucking uni. We get it to fucking together. This guy failed his SPM even deserved, by the way. But you be doing all of that. Of course, you're not gonna pass SPM. Oh my god. Oh my enough. god. I feel like I'm just falling sick from hearing all of this. Like I'm starting to get a fucking headache, y'all. Just from hearing your fucking stories. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Does my head feel hot? Like it's not that complicated. My head feels hot. Yeah, I got a fucking fever from listening to your fucking stories. God damn. Damn. Fuck lah. I think right. Every time we read these stories, uh, our cholesterol level is just getting higher and higher. <laughs> I think the problem is y'all just like to be toxic. Yeah, y'all just like to be toxic. You have nothing going on in your life, Spend so more time to develop yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Correct. The <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Y'all oh just like to be toxic and then in the end what's gonna happen? You're just gonna use all your parents' money because you don't yeah. take time to actually do something substantial, maybe yeah. upskill yourself, bust yeah. that ass. Yeah. Y'all just I, I ain't got shit to say. Y'all got nothing better to do, is it? Don't have any fucking hobbies, is it? Actually what do you get out of being toxic, uh? Do you yeah. get money? Ego la. Yeah, you get ego so what? You cannot buy a house or so what? Yeah, the you fuck? ego what? Ego what? Oh my god, you do all this then what do you achieve in the yeah, end? You don't need to buy a house, ma mommy daddy money ma. You, what the fuck lah, your privileged fuckers use the fucking money and the time to do something better with yourself. Exactly. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, uh, so after hearing all these stories, which one do you think is the most memorable one? <laughs> most memorable one. Uh, the last one. <laughs> yeah, that was, was kind of memorable. Actually, la. yes. The it AMC took a lot of. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot of brain power for us to process everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't have anything to say already lah. That's the end of the episode lah, I tell you. <laughs> and, uh, the end lah, please. The end. The end. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much everyone for watching. <laughs> and thank you so much Kangnam for joining us. This was really fun. And um... Buy us coffee. God. Yeah, buy us coffee. You go and tell us all this shit. Yeah, you make our cholesterol mental high. Mental illness. Yeah, I get mental illness from just fucking listening to it. And guess what? Uh, when uh, we, we read this story, it's not the first time that we have to hear it, you know. Every time we edit and replay the thing, we have to rehear the fucking mental illness story over and over and over and over again. Exactly. Buy us a fucking coffee. If you send in one fucked up story, please. For real. <sighs> the Thank fuck? You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, um, that is all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> fuck. This shit with. Oh my god, fucked up episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it wasn't that bad, lah. It's the last two stories that was fucked up, actually. Mm. Yeah, the last two stories. The first few was okay. The last two was. I think the memorable one for me was the, the problem. Then, but her, her conclusion is the, in the end is am I the Lulu? Yeah. Lulu <laughs> is not the problem, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. So those two funny. were, yeah. And we had so much hopes because she was like, by the way, I changed. <laughs> <laughs> so we never even changed. <laughs>